Two weeks ago, we asked in a poll which element you would like us to discuss. And I truly advised against this, but you chose iron. Iron is one of the most significant elements known to humanity. It has shaped civilizations, fueled industrial revolutions, and continues to play an essential role in modern technology. From the tools of early humans to the towering skyscrapers of today, iron has remained a fundamental part of human advancement. But what makes it so unique? Why has it remained such an indispensable part of our world for thousands of years? Welcome to Cube Chemistry, where we will discuss all the elements of the periodic table and also do experiments. And if you like this video and want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Also, if you want to influence next week's element, make sure to fill in the poll. Now, as of this week, it is possible to buy merchandise with our logo and our slogan. It is available, so make sure to take a look around in our shop. Now, this will not surprise anyone, but in this cube we will have a silvery grey metal. And if you skip the intro, you will now find out that in this cube we have the element iron. Now, iron is a common metal that we use for a lot of things, but in this cube it is again really nicely presented as the raw material that it can be. Now, as always, if you would like to collect a periodic table like me, or if you want a cube with iron like this one, Click on the link in the description and use the promo code and you will get a 10% discount. And also, you will be helping out our channel. Now the use of iron dates back over 5000 years ago. Early civilizations, including the Egyptians and the Sumerians, discovered iron through meteorites. These meteorites contained iron in metallic form, which early humans found easier to work with compared to extracting iron from ores. Now these early iron artifacts, some of which date back to 3200 BC, were primarily ornamental, used to craft jewelry and religious objects rather than tools. Now the real turning point seemed to have come around 1200 BC, with the start of the Iron Age. This period saw iron replacing bronze as the dominant material for tools and weapons. Unlike bronze, which required a mix of copper and tin, iron could be sourced more readily. Now, iron tools were also stronger and more durable, allowing civilization to expand their empires and improve their agriculture. With iron plows, farmers could till larger areas of land, leading to greater food production and population growth. This rise of iron tools gave an advantage to those civilizations who mastered iron smelting, helping them dominate trade and warfare. Now, iron working techniques continue to evolve over time. The Hittites, an ancient Anatolian people, were among the first to develop advanced methods of smelting iron from its ores. They kept this technique a closely guarded secret, allowing them to gain a military advantage. Now, as the knowledge of iron smelting spread, it revolutionized societies across Europe, Asia and Africa. The Chinese, for example, developed cast iron as early as the 5th century BC, which allowed them to produce stronger and more versatile iron products. The use of iron continued to grow during the Middle Ages. Blacksmiths became highly valued members of society, forging iron into weapons, horseshoes and farming equipment. The ability to work with iron was a critical skill that helped advanced medieval economies. The Industrial Revolution in the 18th and 19th centuries further expanded the importance of iron as it became the foundation of machinery, railroads and construction. Now, the English word iron originates from the Anglo-Saxon term iren. However, the element chemical symbol Fe comes from the Latin word ferum. This naming convention is common in chemistry where Latin names are often used to derive symbols. In various languages, iron is named similarly, reflecting its widespread significance in human culture. For example, in German, iron is called Eisen, while in French it is fer. Now, historically, iron has also been associated with mythology and alchemy in ancient Rome. Mars, the god of war, was associated with iron, likely due to its use in weaponry. Alchemists in the Middle Ages believed that iron had mystical properties and sought ways to transform it into gold. Though this was, of course, very impossible. Now, iron is an element with atomic number 26 and it is classified as a transition metal. It is one of the most abundant elements in the Earth's crust, making up about 5% of the Earth's crust. However, uh, most of the iron is not found in its pure metallic form. Instead, it exists in minerals such as hematite and magnetite. One of the most important properties of iron is its strength and durability. 
In its pure form, iron is a relatively soft metal, but when mixed with small amounts of carbon, it can become much harder. This is the basis of steel, one of the most widely used materials in the world. Iron is also highly malleable and ductile, meaning it can be shaped and stretched without breaking. Iron is known for its magnetic properties. It is also one of the three naturally magnetic elements, the others being cobalt and nickel. This property makes it invaluable in the production of magnets, electromotors and generators. Iron also plays a key role in the Earth's magnetic field, which helps to protect the planet from harmful solar radiation. Now, One of the biggest drawbacks from iron is its tendency to rust, as you can see here. When exposed to oxygen and moisture, iron forms iron oxide, commonly known as rust. This process weakens the iron structure over time, leading to the need for protective coatings such as paint or galvanization. Iron's uses are nearly limitless. The most common applications is in the use of production of steel, which is an alloy of iron and carbon. Steel is used in construction, automobile manufacturing, shipbuilding and countless other industries. There are many types of steel, including stainless steel, which is resistant to rust and corrosion. Now, cast iron, another important form of iron, contains a higher carbon content and is used for making pipes, engine blocks, cookware and architectural structures. Wrought iron is a nearly pure iron with a small amount of slag. It is often used in decorative gates, fences and furniture. Iron is also critical in electrical applications. It is a key component in transformers, electrical motors and generators. Because of its magnetic properties, iron is essential in making electromagnets used in medical imaging devices like MRI machines. Beyond its industrial uses, iron is vital in biology. In the human body, iron is a key component of hemoglobin, the molecule in red blood cells that are responsible for transporting oxygen. Without sufficient iron, people can develop anemia which causes fatigue and weakness. Iron is also found in enzymes that help with metabolism and DNA synthesis. Food rich in iron um, include red meat, spinach, lentils and fortified cereals. Now, iron makes up about 35% of the Earth's mass, mostly in its core. Scientists believe that the Earth's inner core is a solid ball of iron and nickel while the outer core is molten. This movement of its liquid iron generates the Earth's magnetic field, which protects us from solar radiation and makes compass navigation possible. Like mentioned, before humans learned how to extract iron from ore, ancient civilization used iron for meteorites. These space metals were rich in nickel and easier to work with. The oldest known iron object is a bead from Egypt dating back 3200 BC, and it was made from meteoric iron. Now, although we think of iron as a heavy solid metal, it can actually burn. In finely powdered form, iron is highly flammable. Iron wool can be set in fire with a simple lighter. Under water, iron reacts with oxygen released from certain chemicals, allowing it to burn even without air. This is used in underwater welding and special types of flares. We've also mentioned that iron is present in our bodies. Did you know that an average adult human has about 4 grams of iron in their bodies? Enough to forge a small nail if extracted? Now, many people think of iron as a strong hard metal, but in its pure form, iron is actually softer than aluminum. It is easily shaped and stretched. What makes iron strong is the addition of carbon and other elements to create steel, which is much harder and more durable. Now, in India, there is an ancient iron pillar over 1600 years old that has barely rusted despite being exposed to the elements. This is because ancient Indian blacksmith used a high phosphorus technique that formed a protective coating of iron, hydrogen, phosphate, preventing corrosion. Modern scientists still study it for clues about rust-resistant metals. Now, iron is one of the final elements produced in massive stars before they go supernova. Once a star is producing iron in its core, it can no longer generate energy through fusion. This eventually leads to the star's collapse and a supernova explosion, spreading iron across space. This means that the iron in your body was originally formed in dying stars billions of years ago.
Now, an iron rust, it combines with oxygen from the air, forming iron oxide. Now, this is what we call rust. Because oxygen atoms add extra mass, the rusted iron object becomes heavier than before, even though rust is flaky and weak. This is why rusted structures often break apart. They have changed chemically and become brittle. Now, the red color of Mars comes from the iron oxide covering the surface. But even on Earth, many deserts, mountains and soil deposits are red because of iron-rich minerals. The famous red rocks of Arizona and the Grand Canyon owe their color to oxidized iron. Now, while iron is usually gray or silver, iron compounds can appear in many different colors. For example, iron oxide is rust and therefore red. Ferrous sulfate is green. Iron 3 chloride is yellow brown. Prussian blue, an iron compound, is deep blue and has been used in paintings and dyes for centuries. Now, from ancient tools to modern skyscrapers, iron has played a fundamental role in shaping human civilization. Its properties make it one of the most useful materials on Earth, and its importance only continues to grow. Whether in construction, transportation, medicine, or everyday household items, iron is an element that will remain vital for generations to come. The next time you see a bridge, a car, or even a cooking pan, take a moment to appreciate the incredible journey of iron, an element that has truly built the world that we live in. Now, as always, if you think I missed something, make sure to put it in the comments. And if you like this video and want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe.